Name the structures that the arrows are pointing at. Intercalary bones are triangular ossifications found in the anterior annular fibers of an intervertebral disc and are believed to be degenerative in etiology. Do not misinterpret intercalary bones as bony fractures. These two figures are laryngoscopic views of the oropharynx during intubation. The openings labeled E are esophagus but can be mistaken for glottic openings. This misinterpretation, known as glottic impersonation, occurred as a result of a forceful laryngoscopic maneuver. As shown in this slide, the vocal cords and glottic opening are revealed when the laryngoscope is pulled back a little. Glottic impersonation refers to the misinterpretation of the glottic opening during intubation or laryngoscopy. This can occur due to anatomical distortions from a forceful laryngoscopic maneuver or neoplasms. This 70-year-old male complains of back pain, urinary urgency, and frequency. What's the likely diagnosis? The diagnosis is prostate cancer with metastases to pelvic bones and the lumbar spine. Sclerotic bone metastases are often associated with prostate carcinoma. This is another case of sclerotic bone metastases associated with prostate cancer in a 90-year-old male presenting with severe pain in the left hip. Ivory vertebra refers to a radiographic finding where affected vertebrae have sclerotic bone metastases associated with prostate cancer. This 20-year-old male has complained of a cough, sore throat, and fever for five days. Her pangina primarily affects children, adolescents, and young adults. It is characterized by small ulcerative or vesicular lesions in the posterior oropharynx and is highly contagious. It is caused by enteroviruses, with the Coxsackie B virus serotype being the most common. The virus is spread through respiratory droplets, saliva, directly touching fluid from a sore, or through stools. The symptoms of herpangina include a high fever and blister-like sores in the mouth and throat, which can be painful. The illness is similar to hand, foot, and mouth disease and is most common in the summer and fall months. What causes the greenish discoloration of the plasma? Greenish discoloration of plasma can be caused by pregnancy, birth control pills, rheumatoid arthritis, drugs such as sulfonamides, which cause sulfimoglobinemia, sepsis due to pseudomonas, high ceruloplasmin levels, and intravenous methylene blue. This is the plain abdominal film of an ill-looking premature baby. What is the likely diagnosis? The diagnosis is necrotizing enterocolitis, NEC. NEC primarily affects premature or newborn babies. NEC is characterized by inflammation of the intestine, leading to bacterial invasion, cellular damage, and necrosis of the colon and intestine. Pneumatosis intestinalis is a condition where gas accumulates within the intestinal wall, as shown in the KUB radiograph. The mortality rate of NEC can be as high as 50%. In some cases, 
Air can also be seen in the portal venous system of the liver. This 50-year-old male presents with pyuria and dysuria. What is the diagnosis? The diagnosis is bladder calculi or bladder stones. Bladder stones can be primary, secondary, or migratory. Primary stones occur in the absence of other urinary tract abnormality. Secondary stones are associated with abnormal bladder or foreign material such as urinary catheters. Migratory stones are renal calculi migrated down into the bladder. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.